welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome, and I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. Before I get started, let me ask you all to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe, and also share this video with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So, first and foremost, let me apologize if you can hear like a that sound, like a weird like grinding sound in the background. It is really, really hot today, like in the hundreds. So I have a fan going, and it's in the hallway pointing into my beauty room to try to cool the entire room down. So if you guys hear that throughout the video, I apologize. Sorry, not sorry, but it is hot. <laughs> so this is a first impressions review. I have had this package sitting in my beauty room for like two, three weeks now. I have not had time to sit down and play with it, so it's just been sitting in here mocking me and tempting me to open it and play with it before I filmed it. So I have like fought the devil and fought the demons to open this before I had a chance to open it with you guys and share it. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards collab. It's so pretty. I love the little um, drawing they did on front. And this it baby is huge. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and open this. Ooh, ooh. So it looks like we have a mirror, the palette in that is a big huge fan. So I wanna open the fan first. And it's because I don't know if you know, but you should know. I love Peter Mon. So now I can go, oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I completely fucked that up. So now I can go, beast. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Oh, beast. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I am definitely going to be putting this on my wall. I have a bunch of blank spots on my wall. This is going on my wall. So next in the side here we have this really really pretty bedazzled mirror. And I am pretty sure you can buy this whole PR set off the ABH website and it has the mirror included. So. This is the mirror, and it has a little lip on it. How cute! And it says Beast. And it is bedazzled and rhinestone. This is so pretty. I love it. Like, I'm honestly really impressed already, and I haven't even looked at the actual palette itself. <laughs> Just the little extra pieces that they threw in here honestly makes the kit, or the set, collection, whatever. So here is the palette. The bright pink beautiful Alyssa Edwards palette. It says on the back, I don't get cute, I get drop dead gorgeous. And now you can too. My dream for this palette was to create a color story that will give you life. One that will bring out the inner beast in everyone. Alyssa Edwards. So there are eyeshadows and pressed pigments on here. So I'm assuming, I know there are neon shades in this. I am assuming the neon shades are the pressed pigments because they're not able to classify pressed neon pressed pigments as eyeshadow because they're not eye safe in the US. Just like with the Manny MUA Life's a Drag palette, they can't call it an eyeshadow palette. I think it's called a color palette. Yeah, so the Life's a Drag palette is called a color palette because it is pressed pigments and also because the bright shades there, it's like there's no animal parts in it. It's all pigments. So I think that's the same thing with some of these colors. I wonder if it says... So it looks like Dream It, BBDC, and Believe are pressed pigments. And all the other shades are actual eyeshadows. Oh my god. Okay. So. This is the palette. Look at that color story. Holy crap. Okay, let me just swatch a few shades. So this is Brick Road. Boom. Oh my god. Okay. And believe it. Y'all, I am... Oof. And then let's do 
beast. Cause you know, you gotta have that black in there. And then just for funsies, we're gonna do headliner, which is a white. And it's actually for a white that is super pigmented. Oh my God. That is so pigmented for a white. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into, into a tutorial with this. And then at the very end, I'll let you know my thoughts. So let's go jump into the tutorial. Wow. So let's go jump into the tutorial. Okay, so I went ahead and clipped my hair back with these cute little clippies that I got from the Dollar Tree. They like little oil splat. They're adorable, I love them. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do a look with the Alyssa Edwards palette. And on top of using and reviewing the Alyssa Edwards palette, I'm also going to be reviewing the new eyeshadow primer. So I know we have all been bugging and hounding Norvina and Anastasia Really Hills to make an eyeshadow base. I'm honestly surprised they haven't made one before, but they finally have one here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. And let's see. It is a water-resistant eye primer in a light colored base that creates the perfect canvas for mattes and shimmers and pressed pigments. Um, I'm pretty sure there's just one shade, which honestly, you don't really need a multicolored shade because you don't really want it to match your skin tone. I could understand people wanting there to be maybe three or four different shades, but because this is an eyeshadow primer, you would want a lighter shade than your skin tone to make the shadows pop so it doesn't bug me that it's a very very light light shade because that's that's you don't need a dark shade so this is all i'm going to be using on my one eye um norvina even said you don't need a lot of this a little goes a long way so let's just apply a little bit of this on my eye and I'm going to use my Real Techniques blending brush. This is the brush I use for all my eye bases. And you know, I'm gonna use my beast mirror to make sure I get it all. And if I mess up my eyebrows, I'll just fix them after I do my foundation. Because yes, I do my eyebrows before foundation and then I fix them after. Especially because I do eyeshadow before foundation and it makes a huge difference for me at least. I feel like if I do my eyebrows after foundation they look super super messy. So right away I already see it really does make a really nice canvas. So I'm gonna do one eye to make this video a little bit quicker because I've been doing really long videos lately. So I'm gonna do this one eye and then I'll do this side off camera and pop in with my review. I'm going to start with this pink, which is Texas made and it's like a neon pink. I'm going to take this flat blending brush from Sigma. This is, they're all like the, the names on the brushes are all faded. I think this is EO5. It's just a flat blending brush. And we're going to take Texas made. Ooh, look at that. That is so bright. Oh, we are just going to pop it right in here and then blend it up. So I'm starting in my inner corner and working my way up the brow bone, blending it up. Oh my God, it's so bright. I love, 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 love bright colors. So we are just packing this in here, up here, so that it's nice and bright and then blending it up. I'm probably gonna play it a little safe with this look just because I don't know. So that is the pink and that is super, super, super pigmented. Like, I am impressed with how that blends out. It so far looks like it's blending out pretty nicely and smoothly. So I'm gonna take A13 by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I am going to jump into Let's do Dream It, which is this really, really pretty blue right here. And I'm going to work this into the pink and blend it in. So I'm taking that blue and blending it into the pink. 
and this should give us a nice little blend from the pink into the purple. So that is really messy, so I'm going to take this blending brush. This is a Morphe blending brush. I don't know the name of it. There's no number, no nothing. It's just a bedazzled one, and I'm going to just blend these together to kind of smooth it out a little bit because it looks very, very bumpy or uneven and a little patchy, to be honest. So I'm taking a little bit more blue because I'm noticing as I'm blending, there's a few spots that are rubbing out. So I'm just taking the blue on this brush and blending it back into there where it got rubbed away. Okay, can you guys on camera see how pretty that blend is? Like that is gorgeous and it is blending out really pretty. Like the colors are kind of like melting into each other. Let's get a little bit more pink up here and I'm just putting the pink brush, the same brush we used for the pink the first time, and I'm just kind of blending that over the blue just to kind of blend them together more to make it a little bit more cohesive. See it right here again, the blue just smeared away. I'm not happy that it's doing that. I don't know if it's, I didn't put enough primer down or what but I feel like even either if there's not enough primer it shouldn't be doing that so I'm taking this Morphe R34 brush and I'm just gonna blend that out again with a little bit of pink on it so yeah I'm just gonna leave that be because I feel like the more I rub over it the more it is fading away like I'm wondering if maybe I didn't put enough primer down I thought I put a lot down but maybe not that's gonna show up when I do a picture really really badly so I'm just because I'm like really really paranoid about that purple I'm going to jump into the actual purple believe it or believe which is this really dark purple and I'm gonna blend that over the patchy part. I'm going to use this R39 brush by Morphe to do that. We're blending it up to God now because it should not be doing this. There we go, that covered it perfectly. But now I'm here and with the pink wiped away again. So I'm just going right here. So right where the purple meets the pink is where I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna try not to touch that purple anymore. So I'm just going to darken the wing up with Believe It. Okay, so I'm gonna try to cut my crease with the Anastasia Beverly Hills cut crease or um, eye primer. It's creamy enough that it might work, so let's find out. I had seen a look I saw someone else do using the Jawbreaker um, palette. I really want to recreate this look, but I did not write down her name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a picture here of her look. Jumping in real quick because I found out the person who I was inspired to create this look, her at is RLQ underscore Rosie. So make sure you guys go check her out too because her looks are amazing. And I apologize, my husband's outside weed whacking. But I just wanted to pop this in here because I did figure out the name of the person who the look was inspired by. So yeah, back to the video. Okay, so now I'm going to take this A14 brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to jump into Dream It again. In this shade, we're gonna go from here down. Like we're gonna kind of create like a V. So I'm taking A2 by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're still playing with Dream It. We're just making this line look nicer. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump into Texas Maine and we're gonna start right here and we're gonna work our way down. And I'm going to 
going to take this tiny, tiny little brush. This is three by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to jump back into Texas Made. And I'm going to blend them together. So this isn't exactly how the other look that I showed you turned out. But I'm liking it. I'm actually loving it. And I'm going to take a little bit of concealer right here. And clean up my mess. I hope this looks better on camera, but you guys can see that line right here. For right here, I think I'm just going to put white. Okay, so I'm going to take this ColourPop brush, and I'm going to jump into Headliner, which is the white. And I'm going to fill in this part with the white and pray to God I don't fuck it up. So I'm going to go and attempt to recreate this on this eye. Fingers crossed, wish me luck, holy Mary, whatever you want, just pray for me, think of me, keep me in your thoughts and prayers while I go and try to recreate this look on this eye. So we'll be right back. I just wanted to jump back in real quick because I was playing with this look and I decided to bring up the purple blue to kind of get more of a sharper wing. And I just wanted to show you guys so I don't jump back in with a different eye look and you guys are just like, what happened? So yeah, I brought the blue up and I blended the purple over so that it kind of fades into the pink. Okay, so I did try to film me putting on my lashes. I'm gonna put in proof right here to show you guys that I attempted to film me putting on my lashes. It did not go well. I don't know what it is about me and filming and putting on lashes. It just doesn't work. One day I will get there, but that day was not today. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this look. And I'm honestly just gonna do something really, really simple. I don't wanna do something too big and flashy and just take away from the look I already did. So I'm going to pick up one of these brushes in front of me. The E39 by Morphe. And we're going to pop into Unicorn Tribe, which is a very light lavender. And we're going to blend this out underneath the eyes. And I kind of feel like it's so light of a purple that it really took away from the purple up top. So I'm going to jump into Believe, which is that darker purple, and I'm going to blend it into it. And then I'm going to blend it up and into the blue. So I am happy with this look, but I am going to put a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm going to take a ColourPop, and this is the Cream Liner. And this is the shade Exit, so it's just a white liner. I feel like that just makes it my eyes look really, really weird. So I'm going to jump back into the Alyssa palette and I'm going to take the Texas Made and I'm going to put that on my waterline just because I am not digging that. So I'm going to take this Hydra Matte by Gerard Cosmetics. This is Vintage Rose. And I'm going to take this really thin liner brush. And this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Swish brush. And I'm just going to cover up my waterline with this pink. I love using the Hydra Matte on my waterline. They dry very, very quickly, so it's perfect for your waterline. Anyways, so yes, this is the finished look, except we don't have anything in our inner corner. Like, it is bare. And there are a few glitters in here. So we have, I have, that is still there. Wow, okay, so. We have 
Inspire, which is the pretty, pretty gold. DDG, which is a very pretty purple. And we have Beyond, which is a bright, bright pink. I kind of want to do the pink. <laughs> So I'm going to take this A13 by Anastasia Ripley Hills, dipping into Beyond, and we're going to plop this into our inner corner. Okay, and just because I want to have a little bit of a shimmer in there, this is a really pretty, pretty color, but it's not very shimmery. So I'm going to take this R43 brush from Morphe and I'm going to jump into Inspire, which is the gold. And I'm just going to put this in there too, just to get a little bit more. Boom! Done! Yes! Okay. <laughs> We're officially done here, right? Yeah. So let me go ahead and show you guys the up close of this look. Okay, so final thoughts on the Alyssa Edwards palette. I love it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I did notice some of the shades, um, specifically Dream It, is kind of hard to blend out, and the more you blend, it tends to almost fade away. Um, that could have been user error. I may have not put enough primer. I did not use a whole lot. I used very little. Um, that could have been. That could have been why. But I feel like it should have been able to hold up and perform on its own. Other than that, the shades are very, very pigmented. I was definitely impressed with headliner. I have I've had trouble finding good whites. The only good white that I own is in the Lysa Drag palette by Manny MUA, Lunar Beauty. Um, the white in the Morphe palette I own kind of sucks. But this one is very, very pigmented. Like even the swatch I did on my hand earlier is still there. It's still pretty. <laughs> so I honestly really, really love this palette. It is available now in Sephora. So you guys can go ahead and grab it. I think it's also in uh, Ulta. And also on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. So yeah, um, as for the primer itself, like I talked about, I do really like it. I feel like it does a very good job. It applies where you want to apply. It's not, but I do have an issue because it is very runny. And on top of it being really runny, it dries down really, really fast. I noticed on my eyelid, and you guys may have been able to see it on the video as well, where I cut my crease. By the time I was finished doing the line and all that and blending everything out, it was already starting to crack and it was really, really dry. So that's kind of an issue and kind of annoying. Um, I know this is their first eye primer, so they have more time to work on it and change the formula if they have to. It may just be my particular taste in eye primer. I don't like that it dried down that quick. I feel like it should stay creamy for like at least, I don't know, 15 minutes at most, just so that it has time for powder, glitter, whatever you're going to put on top to adhere to it. Um, I do use a different eye base and this is the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. This, when you put it down, it stays very, very wet for, like I said, about 10-15 minutes. I don't think I took that long to blend everything out. I may have, but even when you rub it on, it really kind of stays damp until you put the powder on it and the powder is what dries it down. Um, I don't know. I feel like they could definitely work on the formula of this a bit more. Um, like I said, it's very runny too. So like you saw, it was just dripping out of the bottle. It may be too much they put inside the bottle. It may just be the formula is really runny. I feel like it could be a different consistency because even the comparable primer, um, I'm not gonna, yeah, let's just cover up the name of this one. The comparable primer on here, I'm sure you guys can tell what brand this is. I'm not gonna say the name. Um, it is much 
thicker of a consistency. It is definitely a thicker consistency. So I feel like they could definitely work on the formula more. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It works amazingly well. I love it. I just wish it was a bit more thicker and didn't dry down as quick. I wish it didn't crack. That's kind of annoying that it cracks. So yeah, my review, I would definitely suggest you trying it and having your own opinion on it. For me personally, I'm definitely going to keep using it. Um, it works. It does the job. It made the colors pop super, super bright. Like, look at that. Boom. Bright. Um, I just feel like it could be a bit more thicker. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys liked my video and my review. And I hope you like the look that I created for you. I don't know why I'm doing the hand and the voice thing. I'm, it's, I'm, it's late. I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> oh God, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed my review and the look I created for you. If you did, leave me a comment down below and your thoughts and opinions. I love hearing from you guys. And also please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. So with that, I'm going to get going. I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all caution